Good evening to you. That tornado swept through central Arkansas and touched down almost one year ago. Channel 7's Kayla Christian joins us live tonight with the story of one woman who survived that storm, even though much of her apartment complex around her was destroyed. Kayla? Yes, that's right. And Casey Parker tells me that she decided to take a nap when she heard that severe weather was approaching, unaware of just how much destruction was headed her way. So I was uh, sleeping through the tornado warnings as, you know, people in Arkansas do. Woken up by the sounds of destruction, Casey Parker wasn't prepared for what she would see next. Car alarms going off um, and I looked out my bedroom window and I saw a tree had been uprooted and fallen over. Actually, multiple trees had fallen onto all of the cars, including mine, um, that were in the apartment parking lot. My neighbor who lived in the apartment right across from me. He actually was in his car right in front of me on Cantrell and one of the huge trees that was right outside of our apartment building had been uprooted and landed on his car. He got out of his car and ran towards the building. Structures collapsed, gas pipes leaking, and cars on the road at a standstill. Looking around, the damage was insane to see. Parker recalled the difficult months following that EF3 tornado. With the displacement and everything, it was uh, very chaotic. It was very hard to... Um, to lose a home that suddenly for sure um, and, and to lose the belongings and stuff. Warning others to take severe weather alerts seriously after she made the mistake of taking them lightly. I was very wrong. Um, and so, you know, like I just, uh, I try to share uh, my experience and my concerns to, to protect the people that I care about. Now happy to be alive and thankful for the support that rose from the tragedy. For myself, I try to look at it as a, um, a blessing like it, it and turn it into something good. Um, but again, it certainly was a very tragic uh, and traumatic event uh, for a lot of people. Um, and I, I know a lot of people are also still recovering from it.